Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I've uh, got a lager to review for you today. And it's um, another one that's come in one of these sort of um, limited edition sort of uh, display tins. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big music fan. I, I love my rock music and metal in particular. Um, above me you might notice there's a Motorhead tin. And on the other side there's an Iron Maiden tin. And what they were, they were beer and beer, and beer glass packages. And the Motorhead ones and the Iron Maiden ones have hung around because uh, obviously Cameron's Brewery have taken on the, the Road Crew beer and the Overkill Pilsner, so obviously Motorhead beers. And obviously Robinson's have taken on Iron Maiden uh, with Trooper and various other beers since then that uh, Robinson's have brewed uh, with Iron Maiden in partnership. Um, now Queen have jumped in with a beautifully presented tin. Loving that in a 3D gold logo. That's really, really smart. I do like that. It's literally jumped off the shelf. It was, I picked this up in B&M and um, in it is a 500 ml bottle of lager. And here she is. So the Queen Craft Lager. It's coming in at 4.1% ABV. This has been brewed by Williams Brothers up in Alloa in Scotland. Um, it says it's Queen Craft Lager. Now, Williams Brothers brew a lager, and it's simply called Craft Lager, and it's superb. Um, so I am guessing, I'm hoping, that that is what's in this bottle. So it's a 500ml bottle, and it says on the back, it says, This lager IPA hybrid is a revolution in refreshment and flavour. All the crisp, clean notes of the finest lager, but with the discreet, bitter finish of a well-balanced IPA. This beer has been specially selected in partnership with Queen. And it's got a link to the Queen website, to queenonline.com. Um, yeah, brewed by, brewed and bottled by Williams Brothers Brewing Company. So there we go. So it's a 4.1% ABV lager. And um, yeah, it's got the official Queen Productions Limited mark on the back of it. So it has been done in partnership with Queen. Under license to Bravado Merchandising, 2021 Queen, but Queen Productions Limited. So they have officially put their name to it, which is very cool. Um, I've not seen this in the supermarkets. Obviously, like you say, you get Road Crew and you get Trooper, the Maiden and Motorhead beers quite readily available in supermarkets, actually. Uh, but I've never seen this one anywhere. And uh, obviously, as part of the package, you get a glass. So there is, I'll put it in front of me so you can see it. So straight pint glass with the Queen logo on it. Very smart. It's a collectible thing. I mean, I say I love Queen, great band. And uh, I'm hoping this lager um, is good enough for the band, to be honest with you, because let's have it right. They're one of the greatest of all time, Queen. So it needs a bloody good beer if you're going to put their name on it. So uh, I think Williams Brothers are a bit uh, under pressure. Really. So let's get the bottle cap off, get this lager out of its bottle. Lovely bit of smoke on the opening. That is smoking away. I don't know if you can see that. It's just about finished now. Let's get all this in a glass if we can. It looks very clean on the pour. Crystal clear, that is. There it is. There's a little bit left in the bottle there. So there is the, the lager in the glass, clean as a whistle. Loads of carbonation rushing up that one. That looks like your everyday lager. Very pale gold looking lager. That head isn't going to hang around for too long, I don't think. Let's uh, get me snouting, see what the aroma is telling us. Wow, yeah, okay, there's a really hoppy aroma on that. So when I read Lager IPA Hybrid, I didn't know what to think, but I get it straight away. There's a really, really hoppy, citrusy aroma that actually smells really, really nice. It's proper fruity, like genuinely fruity. There is citrus, there is lemon, there's a bit of lime. It has that citrusy sort of crisp aroma you get from a lager traditionally. But then there's a touch of something else. There's like the tiniest bit of grapefruit. 
I'm going to say, I think there's a tiny little bit of like a mango aroma. Let's see if I can get the rest of that in there. It looks good. It looks good. The fragrance is lovely. It is. It's it's hoppy. It's citrusy. It's fruity. It's a bit of a bready malt character coming through on it. <laughs> I'm really excited now. I thought this was going to be a run of the mill piss poor lager, if I'm honest. But this smells interesting. Um, let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. <laughs> wow. It drinks a bit like a pilsner. It's quite dry. It's quite drying. It's sweet. It's citrusy. It's malty. And there's a dry finish to it. A dry, hoppy finish to it. It's almost like lager meets a West Coast IPA. Or a pilsner meets West Coast IPA. There's certainly citrusy, hoppy character to this lager. It's light. It's well carbonated, but not crazy. It's really hoppy. It's really, really hoppy. There's a subtle citrus sweetness on arrival. And then there's a touch of bready malt. And then it's all about the back end. There's a floral, bitter, slightly piney bitterness. And it hangs around. It's got a real lingering bitterness to it. Up front, it's grapefruit. Citrus. Lime, lemon. There is a touch of something slightly tropical. And I'm going to say mango because it's not pronounced enough to be passion fruit or pineapple. But it's tropical. There is a subtle tropical hit that goes along with the grapefruit and the lemon and lime, the citrusy hit to it. And then that body is reminiscent of a good bready malt. There's a good malt build to it. But then the finish is cracking. It's really nice. It's proper hoppy. It's proper hoppy. Fruit sweetness, citrus, touch of tropical. It's floral. It's light. It's nicely carbonated. And that back end, it's really hoppy, really hoppy, lovely, sort of slightly piney, resinous bitterness to the back end to it. Um, this is fantastic. <laughs> this is really, really good. Um, as far as band endorsed beers go, um, this might actually be one of the best I've had. Um, it's... For a lager, I mean, it calls itself a craft lager, Queen Craft Lager. It's only when you read the back of the bottle that it says, yeah, it's a high IPA lager hybrid. Crisp, clean notes of lager, but with a discreet, bitter finish of a well-balanced IPA. Absolutely nailed it in the in the taste and you know, the flavour text on the bottle. It's exactly what it is. Um, I'm telling you, Williams Brothers, despite... A lot of the tripe that they put out in the supermarkets, Lidl and Aldi in particular, they do brew some good beers. Their lagers are really good, and this is no exception. And I say, I love that hoppy, bitter finish to it that gives it that sort of IPA sort of touch to the back end of it. Um, it's brilliant. I like it a lot. Really good. Really, really good. I want it all. Um... Great beer. Really, really good beer. Williams Brothers and Queen. 
with their Queen Craft Lager, 4.1% ABV. Like I say, I picked this one up in B&M with the very nicely presented tin. And of course you get the pint glass with it. Um, if you're a Queen fan, if you're a rock and roll fan, and you're a good fan of good lager, uh, go out, search this out, because it's well worth it. I believe I paid £7 for this. I'm sure it was six ninety nine. Off the top of my head, I'm sure it was six ninety nine. So you get, you know, the 500 litre bottle, the tin, the pint glass. I don't think that's bad value at all. Um, and that'll go up proudly with the Motorhead and made on one. So yeah, that's a win-win for me. Um, I think that's a lovely beer. I really do. I think that's a fantastic bit of brewing there from Williams Brothers. I'm well impressed. Um, I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10, so that's a success for me. So, yeah, Queen Craft Lager for Williams Brothers. Go check it out, see if you can find it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've really enjoyed doing it. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Really appreciate that. And until my next one, you take care.